Before this video starts, just a quick info. If you watched my last video, you know that me and my tribe got wiped by cheetahs. But this was not related to the base you're seeing in this series. It was recorded on a different server for another project on this channel later on. This series is going to continue as normal, and now enjoy this video. It's a new day on Ark, and we're still standing on our newly claimed base spot above the clouds on top of Frostfang. Today, we got big things planned. We need to work on our base, start taming our first lines, and we're gonna properly claim Carlo Cave. We're gonna start day 4 with a big meta run, so let's get straight into it. Well, to be honest, that wasn't that big of a meta run, but enough to keep us going for now. Somehow, Wildcard managed to f*** up the metal spawns for the first few days, so getting metal was a lot harder than you would think. Next up, I spawned in our bats next to the beaver dam spawns and collected some cementing paste. And then, I met up with a tribe mate who just farmed a ton of pearls and brought them back to base after a quick poly run. With all these new resources, we crafted an industrial forge, our first heavy turrets, and a cooker. Pearls, but he DC'd, so I grabbed it. Don't. Can you still stick turrets upside down? Yep. Yeah, the cook. Oh. <laughs> I'm back. Correct. Oh, I guess now he's back. <laughs> yeah. You have 90 of females I submit them. It snaps to foundations, yeah. Now there's only two. Yeah, but there's only two. There's only two types of pipes now. What the fuck? Wait, look at this. All right. What I mean is, you can snap it to your foundation, and then you're gonna lead pipes to it. But then there's no you pipes to lead pipes. to it. That's what I'm saying. Oh. Yeah. It, it it's it has like a range. Yeah. Oh, right, so you can put like a water tower, and then it'll just suck the water out of the range. Oh, so is it doing that? So look, I put this water here. Yeah. Is it is this watered? Yeah, yeah, it is. Yeah. It is That's taking cool. water out of there. That's nice. Right, and I, I just got another water. One minute, watch out, Kirsty. I'll put this one here. Like that. That's awesome. Then, mm. How do I put a water intake off one of these things, though? Like, what? Yeah, intake is in what you put into water. Oh, wait. Hey. Look at this. What Check this shit. You can just place the it anywhere. It has a range. And it works. <laughs> yeah. Oh, that's crazy. That's cool. Well, that's nice. Next up, I decided to do some drop hunting and I got this crazy BP. And then we tried doing another meta run, but we got countered by the worst PvPers I've seen in my entire life. <laughs> Ach, that's fun, wo wir, wo der Arch gestorben ist. Mm. Er kommt, er will dich picken. <lacht> er hat voll verkackt. Ich hätte ihn mit dem Dings. Oh mein Gott! Ich hab ihn echt gehittet mit dem Dings. Oh, RG Player? Digga, können wir einfach gehen? Ich kann dich nicht graben halt, ne? Das ist ein bisschen blöd. Hab einen gegrabt. Ich kann dich killen mit dem Anki. Oh, du wurdest von... Der PT ist da wieder. Pass auf. Schlag, schlag, Digga, schlag. Was für können wir einfach gehen? Ich versuch's doch. Ey, ist doch wilder Ich kann dich nicht grabben. Ich kann runtergehen, Alter. Ich kann hier runterlaufen. Bin wieder gegrabt. Komm mal zu mir hier runter. Nein, dann grabbelt er sich noch raus. Hab ich keinen Bock drauf. Das ist so schlecht, ne? Ich kann ihn nicht reindroppen, wenn du willst. Bestimmt. 
Ja, verprügel ihn. Ja. Ich hole Ich hab ihn. Die Junge, die sind ja so scheiße. Hast du eigentlich das Kit von dem gelootet? Wenn nicht, geht das mal. Nee, hab ich nicht. Soll ich looten? Warte, ich bringe dir den auch noch. Den ah, der ist schon tot. Der, der PT ist fast tot übrigens. Geh das Kit. Ich bin wieder beim Anki eigentlich. Ich hab wieder eingegrabt. Ich hab den hier. Ready? Sind echt dolle schlecht. Ist das deine Shotgun? Nee, ne? Was machst du? Ich mich. Digga, nein. Was wird hier? Ich kann mich nicht trennen. Ich helfe dir. Hab ihn. Jetzt. Geh zum Einke, ja? Ja. Ich bin wieder gecrapped. Ich glaube, ich sterbe. Ja. Ja, ich bin tot. Soll ich mit dem Pili zurückkommen? Nee, lass mal. Die sind einfach nicht so schlecht, ne? Ja. Wie viel habe ich gerade von denen gekillt? Drei oder vier? Hab wieder eingegrabt. Even though these guys sucked at PvP, they had a huge advantage as their base was legit right next to the spot where we were fighting, so even though we killed two or three of them, they could just respawn and run back to the spot where they died naked. Anyways, back at our base I claimed our first RG baby and started raising it. Once the RG could hold enough meat, I made my way over to Kano Island to place more spam outside and inside the cave so no one could block it off without us noticing. Schauen, was der Judy für Stats hat. Der hat Pre-Tem 6500 oh. Leben. Ist das gut, maybe? Schauen wir mal. Unfortunately, the stone foundations on top of the cave were blocking us from placing foundations even further in the cave, right after the water part. So, I had to come back later on with some more C4 to clear that. But, before we're gonna do that, we're gonna do another meta run, because finally the metal on the map respawned as the servers restarted. This meta run was a lot better than the one we did earlier today. Next up, I started working on making map rules, and then it was time for another poly run.
With all that poly I started crafting a bunch of turrets cause I wanted to expand our base and work on a proper base design. But before that I'm gonna go back to Kano Cave, play some turrets inside to make sure other tribes can't get the artifact and claim it for themselves, and I'm gonna get rid of the nations above the cave so we can get spam inside of Kano. Now that Kano Cave was properly claimed, I wanted to rework our main base, but before I could do that, we found a juicy raid on Herbie Island, so we decided to raid them first. I'm currently busy wiping out. Oh my place. god. Why? We don't need anything more. Just one seal. Oh, shit, it's on you. That's a fully hey. greenhouse, what the fuck? Do you do that with the raft? Yeah. Ma Oh, it's a lot. Boom. Slime. Nothing. They have metal. Tunis, why don't you like one X, man? Because it's for pussies. They have a problem Real with ceiling. No, I knew she's the next one. I literally played set, like oh years of oh, small tribes. Can't go near here and shoot them. I played years of small tribes. I haven't played one X. Schieße, wenn er zurückfahren, schießt er irgendwas rein. Nix, schießt er rein aus dem Weg. Warte, warte, noch nicht, nicht fahren, nicht fahren, bitte, bitte, ich schaffe kurz ein Stroh Ceiling. Going on a trip and we're riding the his bitch. Das wird jetzt so wild, Digga. Och, Digga, halt das Maul. Is this on Kano? Wait, is this Herbie? Herbie, Herbie. Oh oh. Oh oh. I'm on some raft stock. Yep, okay, still can't join. Servers are fucked. Bye bye. You wanna come play one act? Is this no greenhouse or what? Nah, there's a full base in there. Stone foundries. By the foundries. Oh my god, it's f***ing loaded! Then start saying the n-word. <laughs> He's allowed to, he has to pass! Chat, he has to pass! <laughs> it just doesn't edit, it just doesn't edit out the video. I just can't believe it. Oh! Oh! Oh my god. Hast du's Fluss weggemacht? Hmm, how would you not bro? Lewis, you might actually be promoting yourself to the gamma of the server. Maybe. There he said, Ooh. Ooh. Can we have that on here so we can run monkey? Ich hab ein Bett hier zu finden. Darius? No Swifty, but you yeah. can play with no, us I'm, if you want. I'm joking. Um, you run monkey with shotguns. Is there more? That's where's the, the Jenny? second story. Where, where's that Jenny? Up there, the I guess you. Story. Oh, I don't have more C4, so... Okay, to be fair, this raid wasn't too juicy, but it was still worth the effort. And, to be honest, this wasn't just raiding for the loot, but also to get our server pop lower, so you don't have to join sim every time you want to play on your own server. Anyways, now it's finally time to upgrade our base. This is what it looked like so far, and I mean, it was working, but there was a lot more potential in that base pop. So, I started working on a new design. I don't know, Arklon was just a better game. Maybe when Cryopods come out, I feel I feel like as soon as Cryopods come out, the game will be like, That's 10 cool. times better. I think they're gonna come out before Extinction. Because like, right now it works, right? But when people start mass breeding, I think they need Kronos. Oh yeah, you can't breed without cry. Like, you can, but it's so cancer. Yeah, 
and so no, the performance it's about is it. it's be the bad performance. Of it. And the no, I don't think the performance is also just annoying. No, it's the performance when when like when like one k each tribe one thousand times out, the Giga swing is fucking tail and this and this. That's the reason why they bring tripods in the game. I'm bad for Jens. I'm sorry, I have to do this. And you can snap down and then just fill it in. Yeah, but this ceiling. already is like one, two, three. It's already three bigger four, than right? ours. Make it even, you fucking need. Yeah, of course. I will, I will, I will. Yeah. I don't know, if they could like unpin cap the servers to start with, that'd be nice. Like, I, I'll assume, I assume that that'll not be an issue as soon as like server transfers are open. They'll have to unpin cap shit. But. Right now, it's just f***ing cringe. Where would you put the door? Here? Mm-hmm. Probably because it's the flattest part. You'll need to use quarter walls, but... When are Buddy, you getting you on? Excuse me? Um, yeah, here in a minute. Alright, great. We're, I'm rebuilding the base. Uh, proof? Yeah, we kind of got wiped again. So Hades came and chopped our balls off. Yeah, they they uh, swam their two so up to our base. <laughs> yeah, <laughs> they dropped the fat ass two so on top of our base, bro. <laughs> Literally. <laughs> they like. Uh, the 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 Tusa like Crip walked up on all of its eight legs up the mountain. Yeah, they <laughs> they added new physics for the Tusa. <laughs> Damn, must be that air effect. Yeah. Yeah. yeah, yeah. Had some red ball. Like Neo ball. <laughs> <And> literally <laughs> started walking to it all day. Yeah, yeah they did right outside. Making text structures. Yeah, we could do right outside because no flame arrows. Mm -hmm. Making text right, structures I'll... and everything is gonna be a hell. Yeah. We need an water shot Black to kill two farm. souls. Well, I, I, I think I'll leave it a 4x4 four four because it, then it's not too close to the edges, right? You know what I mean? I mean, you we have I mean, all Daddy. types of turds. You can't even quest because there's no hat rooms. True. Okay. There's, there's blue up, it's called oh, yeah, 158 yeah. on yeah. top. Then there is um, 35 uh, bridge. There's the, there's the ice bridge. Yeah. Can we do like vaults in the ground right there? Wait, wait, can we do like vaults in the ground right there? Yep. Behind you. Pen searches. We, I mean, we could do chem benches, vaults. Oh, chem benches and vaults. Again. Okay. Them in progress, yeah. Masters. They're like raising stegos and everything already. Oh, nice. Next up, it was time to move the stuff that was inside of our base into the new one and therefore I found a pretty cool glitch myself that legit allows you to pick up any structure no matter how long it's been placed for. You guys probably know that you can pick up structures within the first 30 seconds after placing them. Well, in ASA, Wildcat added a feature if you place multiple structures and you pick up the foundation that's snapped to, all the connected structures get picked as well unless they're snapped to something else holding them. So by simply replacing all the foundations with thatch and picking them up afterwards, we were able to pick up our entire base without having to recraft any of the stuff we already had placed. Oh my god, it did. Bro, this is literally the best glitch ever. <laughs> this is better than Exomac. Kevin, has had good with the Indie Forge. For real? Oh, yeah. Nice. I, I picked, you know what I did, Papa? Look, hmm. I got the Indie Forge in my inventory. It didn't. What, what, what did you do? There's a way, like when you when you place new structures, right? Then you, you can pick them up for 30 seconds, right? Mm -hmm. So if I build something and then pick up the foundation, everything on top of it goes straight back into my inventory. Oh, so you but place if, the ceiling? 
Yeah, so I placed a new ceiling, then demolished the old wall, and then pretty much picked up the the one that I had just placed. Okay, dann versuchen wir das Ganze mal, ne? Das funktioniert jetzt ohne das. Ja, ich kann eigentlich jede Base aufheben, muss die Foundations ersetzen. Warum macht man das hier so rum? And this right here is what our base looked like at the end of day 4. I think so far we've been making decent progress considering all the server crashes and rollbacks in the first few days. And also I really like our new base design. Anyways, let me know what you think about that base and our progress so far in the comments. And now, enjoy the rest of your day and I'll see you guys in the next video. Goodbye.